Boy, do I have some favorites to share about today. We have got some things I am loving so, so much. I would even say that I'm obsessed with them and I don't throw that term around lightly. Um, but I also have a couple things that were so awful that I have got to let you know about. I just kept, I have to tell you. Um, and then I've got fashion things, some Amazon things. It's a whole mix. Let's dive in. I will have everything linked down below. I also have an, a pinned comment. It's easier to get to, I know, depending on how you're watching the video. So if you're looking for something specific I mentioned, anytime you click those links and purchase anything, it does help support my channel. So I thank you ahead of time if you choose to. Let's do beauty first as usual. I can't stop using this foundation, okay? It's the brand new launch from Makeup Forever. It is their Hydra Glow Foundation. <sighs> this is one of those foundations. How, how would I describe this? You can put on a very little amount. Like I put on a light first layer, as I'll show you right now. And even that small amount blends in so beautifully. It covers a little bit. And then you can go in with the second layer and have a little bit more coverage. But it always looks, I think, lightweight and natural on the skin. So even though it can pack a punch with some coverage, like I would say max of medium coverage, I love the way my skin looks when I'm wearing this. I'm wearing no highlighter at all. I'll link, I'm mentioning some of the products, but I'll, I'll have down below the rest of the makeup I'm wearing. I better write down because I will forget. <laughs> anyway, I love the way my skin looks with this stuff. So the color match for me that I actually think, I kind of blended it down. It's, it's, it's as close as I think I'm gonna get is one in zero six. They've got a pretty darn good shade range. I love, it's a really nice glass bottle with a pump. Mm. I honestly, I've never, I don't think there's been a Make It Forever foundation that I've loved so much. Like a lot of them that are famous. Sorry, I feel like I'm not making any sense. I can't get words out in the right order today. It's just one of those days, so bear with me. I've never found a Make It Forever foundation that I have just loved. So this is a first for me. I My expectations were just medium and I ended up loving it. So there you go, I got it out. <laughs> This took me by surprise, and I will say it took me a few weeks of using it to realize how much I loved it and how good it was. It is the Milani Stay Put Tank Eyeliner. It's their liquid liner. They have a brown one and a black one. I like them both. I've been reaching for the black one more, but the brown one is nice. It almost looks black, but still, if you want that like slightly brown tint, it is pretty good, but the black one I feel like is just a little bit juicier, a little easier to work with but it really does stay in place. Like I will put this on and then go work out because I'm a monster and I'll work out and makeup sometimes. <laughs> I call myself that because I remember like eight years ago, I got a comment from someone. I don't know if, if I must've been vlogging about working out, whatever. And they were like, how dare you work out and makeup? <laughs> I was like, oh, oh my. Anyway, I'm in a weird mood today, guys. Not a bad one, just a weird one. I'm running off about three hours of sleep less. <laughs> Um, but I am finishing up a book I'm reading. I'll, I'll talk about books towards the end. Uh, okay, focus, Jessica, focus. This is really good. I don't know what I was saying. This is really good. Oh, what I was gonna say is, you know, I'll work out with this on and it doesn't go anywhere. Like it just doesn't budge. So I'm really a fan of this. It's just good. I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if this was like a rebrand of a product they already had. Cause I feel like they had a liquid liner I really liked. Either way though, it's very good. Definitely a dupe for the Sila Stay All Day Liquid Liner much cheaper, hence the name dupe. Okay. Okay, this may be the weirdest, not weirdest, but just kind of an off the wall brand that I don't hear a lot about on YouTube and I don't talk a lot about, but it is one of those products that I'm like, this thing is magic. Like, why is no one talking about it? So it's from the brand Winky Lux. I bought this, I'm pretty sure at Target. It is their Cheeky Rose Liquid Sculpt in Amalfi. So it's this packaging. I honestly bought it thinking it was gonna be a blush that was kind of like dusty. It's actually more of a bronzer, but they have different shades. And it's just got this little applicator. I mean, let me show you me blending this in. I'll apply it directly to my face. I'll use my favorite brush to blend it in. And it is so easy to apply. This I have been reaching for as much as my NARS cream bronzer because it is just as easy to blend in. The tone is definitely warmer than the NARS one I use, but especially as we're heading into this warmer weather and I might be self tanning more and trying to make things match better. I mean, this is, this is beautiful. If you are wanting to try something fresh, I don't think the price tag as far as I remember was in the stratosphere or anything like that. And it's just such a unique product. I love that the top of it has like this little I was gonna say star, little heart, what? Flower, 
We need a moment of silence for my mind. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Every part of me wants to start this video over. I'm gonna tell you right now, but I'm just gonna leave it be. <laughs> just keeping it real. Drinking cold brew like it's my lifeline right now. So this it was almost a rediscovered favorite. I bought it probably a couple years ago now when Benefit a few years ago launched a bunch of new shades of their powder blushes. I guess they just redid the entire line. This one in Peachin is so beautiful and I'm so glad I pulled it back out and used it a few weeks ago because I can't stop. I am a cream blush person and I have to say this is giving them a run for their money and I have used it so much. Look how even it looks. Like I just feel like it went on so seamlessly. I usually will get a bunch on the brush, tap it off once and then go in with it. And there's something about the tone of this that if you have a skin tone near mine, you would love it. I like the formula of all of these blushes though. There are a couple other ones I own, but this I think with my skin tone has been the one I've, I've definitely used the most. So big fan and usually, yeah, they have a slight smell. You can't smell it. I mean, to be honest, I usually don't want fragrance and things like this, but in this case, I kind of do. I was hoping it would smell like peaches. <laughs> it doesn't really. <laughs> okay, on my lips, I was eating one of those uh, Costco like cheese and nut and fruit pack things and I feel like I've got cheese and nut and fruit in, in, in my teeth. Anyway, this, I may have mentioned this in my last favorites, I don't know. I probably should have checked. But this is the e.l.f. Glow Reviver Lip Oil. I still can't stop using it. There's something about it that is so smoothing on the lips and it's like slightly minty. So if you're not about, you know, how a lot of these products will smell like um, vanilla or like coffee, I love all of that. But if you're not into that and you'd rather it smell minty, you would love this and it's not plumping or tingly. So if the mint scares you away, don't let it because it doesn't have that effect, which I love. So love the way it makes my lips look. I feel like it's one of the best glosses I've tried at making your lips look less lined. You know what I mean? Love it. This, by the way, is in the shade Honey Talks. And I paired it with this lip liner from Sephora I've loved for years, the Nothing But Nude shade. These are so good. <laughs> Let me talk about something that was awful. And this was a rediscovered. And I was like, I'm gonna try it again because I loved it. And I did used to love this. I went through like three of these. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if they reformulated or my lashes changed. I don't know. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes. I don't know what has changed, like I said. But when I put this on the other day, it was everywhere. It smudged all day long. And I always use my mom as an example, but she usually has that issue with mascara smudging. That is not an issue I typically have. And I typically don't put mascara on the bottom. So I'll usually wipe that off. Just from the top lashes, I was getting mascara smudges every five minutes, all day long. I was wiping it up, five minutes later, it was back. Most mascaras anymore don't do that. And when they do, you're like, okay, I don't like this. This was doing that. And I do not remember that previously. So wanted to mention it because I mean, this is pretty expensive. I can link uh, one or two of my favorite drugstore mascaras if you're wanting a great one that doesn't break the bank because I would not buy it. I can now say with certainty. So my question for you guys is, I guess this, have you tried this recently and is it smudging on you? Did you notice a change? Like, just let us know. I'm curious. Maybe this one's a dud. I doubt it, but you never know. Mm, mm, mm. I was posting on my Instagram story, uh, trying this cold brew that I'm drinking right now. And it's, I'll pop a picture on the screen. It's the Stoke cold brew, but it's got like the yellow label. I usually do the green label. It's pretty good. When I initially tried it, I felt like I was like, oh, okay, it is definitely mellow and tastes less strong, but the more I'm drinking it, especially with the little half and half, it's just good. It's got like a good taste to it. Anyway, a product I fell in love with. I kind of bought randomly on a whim because I was in need of one. This is the Lola V Glossing Detangler. I bought this a while back and it's a thicker, almost lotion spray. So I thought, oh man, like it's gonna gunk up and you're not gonna be able to get it out. You're able to get it out. And every once in a while I'll start and I'm like, oh no. I'm, so I'm like, I'm gonna have to run under the water and then I'll try one more time and it'll work again. So I am just continually amazed. It is such a great detangler. When I do use it, since it is thicker, it doesn't feel thick, but it's a thicker spray. I'll spray it everywhere I want it after the shower. And then I'll literally grab my hair and kind of work it into it like that, then go through to brush through and it works so well. So love this, would totally repurchase this product. This is the one that Jennifer Aniston 
it's like her brand or something like that. And th that product is really good. Also, how smart that Jennifer Aniston would do a hair care brand considering she probably should have started it like 20 years ago, but considering how big her hair was, so interesting. Anyway, okay, I hated this product so much. So this is the Herbivore Pink Cloud Jelly Cleanser. Love the packaging. I Herbivore's packaging will always just suck me right in. It's simple, it's clean, it's like, I just love it. First of all, this has this scent, and I don't think it's an added scent. It, it smells, it kind of smells like alcohol, honestly, you guys. I don't know. It, it's just got this, this, whatever it is that's in here, I really don't like the smell. So that's one thing, it's a personal thing. But every time I've washed my face with this, and I actually used it today because I, I needed a face wash here, and this is what I had, so I used it again <laughs> for science. It dries my skin out like crazy like crazy, it gives me that squeaky clean feel I know some people like. And if you do, you may love this, but I do not like that. And it, this this did that, and then add that plus the scent, and I was like, I'm not a fan. And also, this one, and I have another one I talked about in my empties video I just did, the Laneige Water Bank, they both burned my eyes too, so. And I was putting them directly in my eyeballs. Okay, um, where to next? I'm looking at my little list here. Okay, let's talk fashion and accessories. First up, these glasses I just got from Target. I love them so much. I need to fix, I like got the nose pads messed up, so I need to fix that. But here's why I love these, okay? You may be looking at these and thinking like, Jessica, yeah, okay. It's just like a standard sunglass. The reason I love this is because exactly that. It looks like a standard, just classic, kind of Ray-Ban-like sunglasses pair. The grammar was wrong in there, but anyway. But I love that these are a little more round. I typically don't do the round thing but I just feel like these are just ever so slightly tweaked and different and that's what makes them to me really cute. I love the tortoise shell. I like them so much that I was like, I may buy a second pair and keep it brand new. So when inevitably one of my kids breaks these, I already have a backup. <laughs> so they're awesome. I'll link the exact ones, but they're like, I think $14.99 at Target. So good. I did do a big Target haul if you wanna check it out. It was in another video of mine I will link. Um, up in the cards and down below. You can watch it next because they were, Target's got some goodies right now. This quarter zip right here, I showed in a vlog. I love this so much. They don't sell this green color anymore. I'm so sorry. I love this green color, but it is one of those quarter zips that is exactly big the right amount. If you assuming like I just did true to size, I feel like it is exactly oversized the way I want it and it's comfy, the sleeves are a little bit big, but it's not so big, like it's the perfect right in between. I love it so much, you guys. They have other colors, obviously. I'm eyeing, I'm like, do I get like a more neutral color too? <laughs> like, do I need it? I don't know, but I'm wanting to wear this all of the time, all of the time. So it's cute with leggings, cute with, you know, after a workout, cute with joggers I've been wearing it with. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love it. So this is, I don't think I even said, it's American Eagle, it's got the fleece inside. I love that it's got pockets, it's got a long quarter zip. Oh my gosh, I just love it, you guys, it's so good. I also wanna talk about the jeans I'm wearing. I talked about this like, I wanna say eight months ago on my channel, but they're still available and I bought another color of these jeans, also from American Eagle. So listen, if you're on and you're like, I'm gonna buy the quarter zip and you need some new jeans, add it to cart. <laughs> To be honest, I get pretty overwhelmed jeans shopping. And for me, I'm willing to pay a little bit more for jeans that are going to fit well and maybe have a slight stretch. These ones, I feel like the price is higher than what I would spend at Target. But if I hit it just right, they're not that much higher. Like they'll have sales all of the time. American Eagle has sales all the time. They're not anywhere near the price tag of like ones you'd get like Nordstrom type brands, you know what I mean? So my point is, I love this pair so much. They fit me just right. I would say true to size. You maybe you're you're wanting to dip your toe in slightly looser jeans, but you're like, I'm not going all in. Like I still love my skinny jeans. I still whatever. These are the perfect ones because they're still fitted in the hips and the butt. I'm thinking of if my five year old was in the room, she would think that was hilarious. <laughs> and it's slightly fitted in the in the thigh, but then the rest of it is just a little bit like loose and straight. It's the perfect in between, like a hybrid. So I feel like this is a good dip your toe in the water. These are just my favorite jeans. So I wear these. Now I have two pair, two different colors, and I love them. And I wish they had different like like versions of this because I would I would buy them all. 
I'd buy them all. I wish they had them in white. I wish they had them in black. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so while you're buying the Target sunglasses, I bought a new workout tank from Target. I was looking for one, this is always what I'm looking for. A workout tank that is not super fitted, but it's also not giant and baggy. And I don't want it to be super long, but I also don't want it to be wildly cropped. I found it at Target. It's, it's simple, they have different colors. I think, last I checked, I think they only had three colors. I've got like the bluish purpley color. I think they also have black and white. I feel like I saw more colors in store, but maybe I didn't. Either way, it's just that perfect, again, kind of middle of the road workout tank that I've been loving and yeah. Oh, I knew I'd forget something, my Kindle. Okay, if you have a Kindle and you don't have a Kindle hand strap yet, let me welcome you to the world. I get so tired of holding my Kindle. You know, I'm reading in bed, so I'm on one side and holding it with one hand. Having a little strap to just slide my hand in so I can just kind of loosely, not even have to hold onto it with my fingers, just like let it hang on my hand, game changer, game changer. So I have a clear case that I've got like the stickers decorated on, and then I have that stuck to the case so it's not stuck to my actual Kindle. They also sell ones that you can not have to stick on, but actually just kind of like wrap around the corners. So if you want it to be removable, that's a thing. Welcome to the world, baby. It has changed my life. <laughs> okay, before we get into some food faves and book faves, quick little shout out to this little two-piece pajama set for toddlers and kids. I got my girls matching ones for like Easter, like the night before Easter. I don't know. I'm trying to make fetch happen, I guess. <laughs> this is like the era of like trying to start traditions with them. And I was like, that's kind of cute, like Easter pajamas. Anyway, got them this floral set. These are, if you've ever shopped for like baby, toddler, little kids clothing, this kind of pajama that's like this super stretchy can get very pricey. These were so nice. They were under $20. They are wildly stretchy. They've washed and dried well. The girls love them. They look super cute, super comfy. So if you need them for your own kids or grandkids as a gift for someone, they are really, really good. I'll definitely be buying another set when we need them. My favorite snack right now are these things right there called Heavenly Hunks. I initially tried these, I think it was like a Thrive Market haul and I bought them to try them. And I was like, okay, they're pretty good. But I wasn't, they weren't like making my mouth water good. I was at my sister's house and she had bought a Costco size bag of a different flavor. I think I had tried the peanut butter and she just had like the classic chocolate chip. These are like these protein oatmeal chocolate chip granola bars, but they're like thicker. Oh my gosh. My mouth is watering just thinking about them. We, I ended up going to Costco and getting that size bag. That flavor is out of this world. Now I've gone back and tried the peanut butter ones again. I'm like, okay, they are pretty good, but the OG just oatmeal chocolate chip ones are mouthwateringly good to me. You have to be careful though, like one, because again, they're like protein bars. So you're not meant to just sit and eat like five of them. <laughs> I mean, you can, you do you, but you know. Um, but man, for a middle of the day when I'm just like, I need something, mm. Highly recommend. You can find them at um, regular stores. Like I saw, I've seen them at like Kroger, et cetera. They're pricey for a small bag. Like I said, you can get them on Thrive Market, save a little bit of money. And then I've also got, like I said, the big bag, big daddy bag from Costco. Okay, I finally finished Iron Flame. No spoilers, but if you are curious, so I am someone that does not typically read fantasy. So if you're listening and you love books and you're not really into the whole fantasy thing, me either, you know? But I had read the A Court of Thorns and Roses series, or most of it, I think I have one more book left. And I liked it pretty well. I was like, okay, I kind of get why people are into this. But then I started hearing about this Fourth Wing series. There's only two books out now. So to compare the two, I feel like the Fourth Wing series is easier to read. I also like it more. I like it more. It felt, I've mentioned this in another video, but it felt like a cross between Harry Potter and Hunger Games and A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I just liked it better. And the way Iron Flame, so let's talk about Iron Flame, the second book. Everyone had told me like there's something at the ending that's like a shocker. You're gonna feel a certain way about it. So again, no spoilers, but I'm like so nervous to finish this book. Like I almost just didn't wanna finish it. Finally finished it a few weeks ago. And um, yeah, the ending surprised me. And anything I thought was the ending, I was wrong on all counts. So that was interesting. I think the author's done a good job of that where you think you know where something's going and then it doesn't, but it's really good. Even if you're not into fantasy, I don't think you need to be. And if I'm choosing what to recommend, A Court of Thorns and Roses or Fourth Wing, I would definitely recommend Fourth Wing to most people. 
Um, there are some spicy parts. So I wanted to throw that in there. If you're not into that, I would not read either <laughs> series. But um, yeah, I really liked it. It's made me really excited for, I'm sure in a few years when the third book of the Fourth Wing series comes out. I think the series is called The Empyrean, something like that. Anyway, really good, really good. I was gonna say like, what am I, you know, like listening to music wise? I don't feel like I've really gotten into anything new and exciting lately. I am kind of in a lull when it comes to music. I know, well, Taylor, Taylor Swift's new album will come out and then I will no longer be in a lull. So, and actually it might be out by the time this video is going live. I'm trying to think anyway. So that will be what I'm definitely going to be getting into. But other than that, I definitely feel like I'm kind of in a lull. I also need to start like a new podcast or an audiobook or something. Cause I feel like I get in the car and I'm not driving far most days, but at the same time, I'm like, I kind of want something to listen to other than just like the news or the radio, you know, or just shuffling my library, which is usually what I do. So let me know if you have any recommendations, podcasts you're loving. I want to start, I know a lot of people listen to like the Bible in a year podcast. I've never tried that. It just feels like such a big commitment and I'm already trying to read the Bible my own way. <laughs> so I don't know. So I, I, I need to look into it because I, I might, it might be just what I need, but Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed. If you wanna check out my last favorites video, I will link it below. Like I said, I do these every few months. And if you are new here, first of all, thank you for watching all the way to the end. Oh my gosh. Um, I hope you'll subscribe. Check out some of my other videos before you leave. See if you're into my vlogs maybe. Maybe you're into more makeup-y beauty videos like this. I definitely do a mix here and I'd love to have you join our little family here. Um, come say hey to me over on my Instagram too. It is, it's Jessica Braun. As I was saying earlier, I'm on my Instagram stories all the time, just hanging out and chatting with you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.